We just saw a shake table test to demonstrate the earthquake survivability of wood frame construction, specifically mid-rise wood frame construction. Uh, but that shake table test, that building was built using special techniques. So are you promoting the use of those special techniques in China? Are you educating people about those special techniques? One of the real keys is knowledge transfer and providing uh, key training opportunities for the Chinese. We've done that through the Canada Wood Group. Uh, through different training facilities spread across the Chinese marketplace so that they do know how to build the building properly. One of the big mistakes that was made in Korea early on uh, was a lack of knowledge transfer and the buildings were not durable. In fact, many of the buildings deteriorated in a very short period of time. We don't want to repeat that error here, error here and that's why we're investing significantly in education. So specifically in that construction technique, that's what's being taught? Absolutely. If so, I'm a Chinese builder and I've got a bunch of Canadians urging me to build six floor walk-ups out of wood, I'd, I'd ask, uh, what do you do with them here? And uh, we, we up till now haven't allowed that. Is that why we're legalizing six floor uh, wood train construction here to convince the Chinese? Uh, the situation that you just described is exactly what happened. We were encouraging the Chinese to build six-story uh, walk-up apartment buildings and they said, well, show us what you do. And of course we were unable to do that. So we've really switched our marketing techniques in China and tried to focus on the things we know we can be cost competitive on, we know that will be durable, and we know that will be easy to construct. The fact that we've moved forward on six-story design here in British Columbia has no correlation to the work that goes on in China. However, I do think it will be a valuable marketing opportunity as we go forward.